Unang kita ko pa lang sa kanya. 10 seconds pa lang, sabi ko. Ito na yun. Siya na yung inahanap ko. Masasabi ko na, I finally found the one. Sup guys! Medyo matagal ko pinla na kung paano ko gagawin itong vlog na to. And this vlog is related sa previous vlog ko. And this would be all about the project na pinaghihirapan namin ngayong gawin. And yun ay ang pinakabagong web series ng OCTV, ang Love From Home. So, sa last vlog ko, nakipinakita namin sa inyo kung paano kami nag-come up dun sa magiging official soundtrack ng ginagawa naming web drama. Ngayon naman, ikukwento ko sa inyo, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano namin kinonceptualize yung web drama. Marami sa inyo nakakaalam na sobrang hilig ko sa mga k-drama, as in k-drama fan ako. Bilang na-expose ako sa showbiz ng magdadalawang dekada na po, <laughs> ang pangarap ko ay mag-direct ng isang movie or isang drama. Which is, akala ko dati medyo imposible siya. Pero dahil sa OCTV, binigyan na ako ng chance para magawa yun. And during Love Express, hindi ko yun na-expect na maraming magagandahan, na maraming makaka-appreciate. At maraming maraming salamat sa inyo kasi kayo talaga yung nagpo-push sa akin magpatuloy pa. So parang inspire ako makaisip or gumawa ng kasunod. So naisip ko yung story ng Love From Home. Naisip ko yung concept na gusto kong paghaluin yung Korean and Filipino culture. Bilang yun yung dalawang nasa puso ko. Paano ko yun gagawing isang drama? Lalo na ngayong pandemic. So, para mga hindi kami mahirapan sa pag-shoot, um, sa story, meron na rin nag-e-exist na pandemic. Yung female character, na-retrench siya sa work dahil sa pandemic. Which is marami sa atin dito, lalo na sa bansa natin, na maraming naka-experience noon dahil nga, Uh, lumalala yung sitwasyon ng ekonomiya natin. And then, inisip ko rin i-relate yung K-drama vibe or K-drama style or concept. So, ayun, naisip ko gumawa ng isang love story ng isang Filipina at isang Korean guy na paano pwede mag-develop yung relationship nila kahit malayo sila sa isa't isa. Yeah, ang una kong naging problema saan ako kukuha ng koreano? Pag yung Filipina actress, marami naman akong pwedeng makuha dahil nga dito naman sa Pilipinas. Pero yung Korean guys, sabi ko, paano yun? Eto na nga, nagpahanap ako syempre sa sino pa bang nasa Korea na part nitong OCTV. Syempre si Big Boss lang, which is a businessman at walang masyadong connections sa entertainment industry. Pero saan sinabi ko sa kanya yung concept, Nagustuhan niya. As in, support agad siya. Nung sinabi ko sa kanya na kailangan ko nga ng Korean guy, sabi niya, um, tutulong daw siya maghanap. Hindi naging madali yung search namin. <laughs> kasi yung character, nagre-require siya ng kailangan marunong ka mag-English kasi yun yung magiging main language ng web drama. So, meron kaming na-scout na tatlo. Yung first audition ni, Okay siya, sana sa English, as in super galing niya sa English. Pero, hindi ko na-feel na gusto niya yung, yung project. Gusto ko yung gaganap dito sa role na to. Nasa puso niya yung trabaho, gusto ko nasa puso niya yung project. Kaya sabi ko, hanap pa tayo. Meron kaming nahanap. Um, okay siya, mabait din. Pasok siya sa looks, pasok siya sa acting kasi may experiences na siya sa acting. Pero, ang lakas ng Korean accent niya, um, kahit maroon siya mag-English, baka mahirapan yung audience na intindihin yung English niya. Sabi ko, try pa natin maghanap. So, ayun, naghanap naman siya, naghanap pa rin siya. So, eto na nga, yung third audition ni. Unang kita ko pa lang sa kanya. 10 seconds pa lang, sabi ko, eto na yun. Siya na yung inahanap ko. Masasabi ko na, I finally found the one. So ngayon, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung naging audition niya. Kasi bawat audition, nire-record ko. And this one, may permission din niya na masama sa vlog. Doon ako curious siguro kayo, sino ba yun? Sino ba yun? So ngayon, ipapakita ko na sa inyo. Pasok! Ano yung 
안녕하세요. Hello. 네, 안녕하세요. 아, 저는 귀셀입니다. <웃음> 네. 아, 이 드라마 강동민이에요. 김재원 맞죠? 네, 네. My, my name is Jeon Kim. 아, 예. Oh, yeah. 아, 영어말 할줄 알아요? 아, 네, 네. Really? <laughs> Ani, I, I heard from Kim Daebyun-nim that you can speak English. Can you speak English? I mean, can you... Not very well, but I can speak like... Hi, my name is Jaewon Kim. Oh, that's good! You're good! <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, Thank you're you. actually good. I mean, your accent is good. Ha, <laughs> ah, <laughs> Because I was like wondering... Yeah, if uh, how will I converse with you if you cannot speak in English? Kim Tepyun Nim, manashasso. Yeah, yeah, I met him. What did he say about this casting? Do you have any idea about this um, project? Uh, he just told me like we are looking for a Korean boy who can speak. English and acting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're looking for main lead for the male character of our web drama. Some scenes will be shot here in Manila and some will be shot there in Korea. We are looking for someone who could speak English well because the character will require a lot of um, English dialogue so um, you don't have to be very very good it's just that um, you have to yeah have a lesser korean accent which i heard that you are very good i mean yeah you, you're very good can i ask how um did you learn english oh i was i was educated by english kindergarten korea attended international school when you were young. Yeah, so I'm familiar with English. That's good. 혹시 um, American 영화 좋아해요? Yeah, I love it. I love it. Oh, that's why. Because me, I I, I learned Korean um, 한국 드라마 때문에. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I knew you're younger than me. You're summer. Yeah, I'm 20 years old. 21 years old. Yeah, for this audition, I'll just ask you to introduce yourself, anything that you can tell about yourself, and then we will do script reading later. So, for now, uh, 자기소개하세요. 영어말. Oh, ah, okay. Uh, well, uh, my name is Jeon Kim. And uh, as I mentioned, uh, my age is 21 years old. And yeah, I'm a boy, and I I love acting. I love acting because I have been acting for like five years or six years. Oh. I have I have been working by fashion model in Korea. Mm. Yeah, like two years. Oh yeah, I noticed. Um, I saw your Instagram account, and yeah, I've seen your pictures. You were a fashion model, and then I would assume that you're very tall. What I know your height. How tall are you? One eighty-seven centimeters. Again, again, uh, dashi. One eighty-seven. One eighty-seven centimeters. Six one in feet. Wow, you're so tall. Perfect for a Korean actor. <laughs> yeah, because I've watched a lot of K drama. May I know your favorite Korean actor? Oh, I love Park Jong Min. Actor. He is uh, so good, so good at acting. Who else? Uh, um, do you know Park So Jun? Tangimajo. I love. Him. Yeah, I think. I think you have the same height. He's also 6'1", I guess. Anyway, uh, do you have any idea about the Philippines? Because this, this will be produced by Filipino production. Yeah, most of the market, most of the subscribers of the channel are Filipino. So do you have any 
do you have any um, idea about the Philippines or do you have any Filipino friends? No, I don't have my Filipino friend, but I don't know about a lot, but I heard that in Philippines, uh, K-drama is really famous popular. and popular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah super popular. Yeah. I am the first Filipino you've met so far. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, okay. So you've mentioned before that you love acting, right? And you're studying acting in college. So, do uh, you have any experiences in um, doing movies, um, drama, so far? Um, I have experienced uh, uh, advertisement, but not drama. So, I can say this drama will be my first drama in my life. Yeah, yeah. I know the difference. There is a big difference between um, commercials and and film. Film is very serious because I've been in the industry for for like 17 years already. That's why I've experienced a lot of things here in the Philippines. Because yeah, did did Kim Tepunim tell you that I am an actor here in the Philippines? Yeah. I'm shy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, it's my second um, time to direct a uh, web drama. My first one was just a few months ago. I'm very excited to do this drama because um, yeah, I'm gonna be working with some Koreans and yeah, maybe. <laughs> anyway, uh, okay, let's. Let's proceed to the script reading. She will be Jay in the script. Can you see it? We see Janice speaking to Jay. Jay is smart and looks intimidating, but all of the perception goes away once he flashes his smile. Hi, I am Lee ji -yong. You may call me Jay. I'm a college student here in Korea. Nice to meet you, teacher Jana. Charisso, charisso. Baksu. I guess that's it. Um, Panga oil. You lock Kakoeo. I will tell Tepunim um, if um, there will be any update about this edition. I hope to work with you soon. If not in this drama, maybe in other drama. There you go, guys. Alam nyo na kung bakit, di ba? Ang lakas-lakas ng charm ni Jaywon. Meron siyang charm na parang pak soju na itsurang parang suplado, manly. Pero pag nag-smile, ang lakas ng charm. Yung parang, oh, cute. Yun yung nakita ko sa kanya. Lalo na nag script reading kami, hindi ko lang napakita sa inyo lahat na ako pinaka na-impress. At hindi siya tumira sa ibang bansa, kuha niya yung American accent. At hindi lahat ng Korean eh nagagawa yung ganun. First time niya mag-act ng ibang language. Sobrang challenging ng gano'n. Na-try ko na yun. <laughs> Hirap. Hindi ko ma-express masyado yung emotion. Pero, alam nyo guys, siya talaga nung nag-shoot kami, sobrang inaral niya yung script. Sobrang focus siya. So, masasabi ko talaga na sobrang professional niya. Kahit first time niya sa drama, masasabi ko na nasa puso niya yung acting. Nasa puso niya rin yung project. And sobrang happy ako na na-discover ko siya. Sinasabi ko talaga sa inyo, he's the next big star. Pero swerte ko na na-scout ko siya few months ago. Kasi ngayon busy na siya. Yung talent niya sa acting talaga yung magpapa boom sa kanya. Ngayon palang napaproud na ako sa kanya kasi wala. Nauna na ako sa pila. <laughs> Kaya sinasabi ko sa inyo, naku pumila na kayo habang maigsi pa yung pila. I-follow nyo na siya sa Instagram. Ito yung Instagram niya. <laughs> Manager! <laughs> I'm also looking forward na makapunta ako sa Korea to meet him in person kasi sobrang bait niya din guys. Simple, humble, and sobrang guwapo. Sobrang guwapo. <laughs> Alam niyo yung aura ng mga Korean actor. Ganun siya pa, dun siya papunta talaga. Ah, all ito pa pala, meron pa isa. Meron akong napansin na yung mga nakapanood nung vlog ko na gumawa kami ng OST ni Big Boss. Ang daming na-disappoint daw kasi akala nila ako at si Big Boss yung gaganap na bida. 
Oh, well, uh, wag na tayong umasa na mag-artista po si Big Boss. Kasi masaya naman po siya sa trabaho niya sa businessman. <laughs> Yula po siyang time para mag-artista. Buti nga may time pa siya sa OCTV, pero wala po siyang time mag-artista. And hindi niya po thing yung pag-artista. Isa po siyang private person na ginawa kong public. <laughs> anyway, um, sa akin naman... Inisip ko rin talagang mabuti kung gagawin ko tong project na to as artista and director ulit, kagaya ng Love Express. Actually, pwede naman. Kinonsider ko rin na ako yung gumanap as the lead actress. Kasi nagustuhan ko yung character. Pero may mga mas nangibabaw na reasons kung bakit pinili ko na hindi ako yung gumanap na bida. Una, kakatapos ko lang ng Love Express. Parang nakakaumay naman. Yung puro mukha ko na yung nakita nyo sa OCDP. At saka parang um, pahinga muna sa mga ka-love team. Pangalawa, parang gusto kong mas mag-concentrate sa production and sa directing. Nung sa Love Express, na-experience ko producer, director, artista, mahirap. Hindi ko nabibigay yung best ko dun sa tatlong yun. So parang gusto ko ngayon, ibigay ko yung best ko, makapag-concentrate ako sa directing na gustong-gusto ko rin gawin. Lastly, ang pinaka-importante yung reason, gusto ko magbigay ng opportunity sa iba. Gusto ko magbigay ng break sa mga taong very talented and deserving para makilala sila. Parang maging way ako para ma-discover yung talent nila. Hindi yung puro ako. Hindi yung for the sake of myself. Parang ganun. Kaya akong ginawa talaga yung channel. Hindi para, hindi para pasikatin yung sarili ko as artista, makagawa ng mga sarili kong drama na ako yung bida. No. Hindi po ganun. Uh, gusto kong mapakita yung importance ng doing a quality content. Gusto kong maka-discover ng mga talented artists. Actually, yun talaga. Kaya, uh, decide kami ni Big Boss na hindi ako yung gaganap. And we're willing to take the risk kahit newbie yung mga artistang kinuha namin. Pero, masasabi kong hindi ako nagsisisi na kinuha ko sila. Like, si Jewa na kilala niya na and this female lead character, si Joycel. She's a friend of mine. Um, same church din kami. And nakitaan ko siya ng potential at nagustuhan ko yung pag-arte niya dun sa pinanood kong movie niya na Guerrero under EBC Films. Gusto ko siya magpato ng linya. Gusto ko siya umarte. Kaya siya yung unang pumasok sa isip ko nung natapos namin yung pag-conceptualize ng story and the characters. Sana supportahan niyo po yung ginagawa naming web series as well as the channel OCTV. Kasi bawat project po na ginagawa namin doon ay may puso. And sa inyo po kami humugot ng lakas at inspirasyon dahil sa support ang binibigay niyo sa amin. So, on behalf of Big Boss din po, thank you po sa lahat. Thank you for watching. Bye guys! Thank you.